in this scripting class, if you are looking for this Excel and you are not able to find out this, uh, how to get this Excel, you can just go and visit my website called snowexpertrovic.com. Under this, you will get all the topics. Under that, there will be a, a section called service now scripting. Here, you have a service now scripting and all these details. If you click the requirement sheet, you will directly get that link uh, to for this Excel sheet. So if you are looking for the Excel, visit my website from expert Rohit and there you will get that um, uh, docs and if you have any requirement you can definitely mention in this uh, requirement sheet and if you have not like share and subscribe please like share and subscribe so let's see today's requirement so today's requirement is pretty much similar to the last requirement like directly p1 incident cannot be created it is pretty much similar what they are saying that uh, from p3 and P4 user cannot directly set P1, but from P2 they can set as a P2, P1. So basically what they are trying to say that, let's say that an incident got created and first of all incident cannot be created by P1. So that's the one case, right? So incident cannot be created by P1. So we are strictly uh, prohibiting that. Let, now let's say that somebody go and create an incident called P3 or P4 and they are trying to directly upgrade this P3 or P4 incident to the P1. We don't allow them. We'll simply allow them P1. If somebody have a P2 incident, they can select that uh, P1. So let's understand that. So let's say I have an incident in this incident module. Uh, we have a incident. So this is the incident, right? So priority three. I can this. P1, uh, this P3 incident, I can go and uh, mark as a P1, right? Previously it was P3 and I can do that, right? Simply put work notes and simply upgrade that. That they want to restrict. So you cannot directly upgrade your incident from P3 or P4 to P1. First you have to upgrade as a P2 and then from their P2 you should upgrade as a P1. So that is the condition, right? How we can implement that requirement? Let's understand that. So last, in last video, you have not watched my last video. I would recommend that watch my last video. Uh, the last In the last video, what we uh, do actually, we created a uh, business rule called prevent P1 incident. So this is the business rule. In this business rule, this is a before business rule, which is running on the insert. And whenever you are going to create a incident with priority one, we are stop or we are are uh, restricting, restricting you directly that you cannot create that P1 incident. This business rule we are going to modify today. Um, so recommendation will be if you have not watched my past video, go and watch the past video. Otherwise it is a simple script, you can just check that. We are checking that current or priority equal to one and if it is one, then we are stopped by, this is the message we are showing and then we are showing that current dot set about action equal to true to restrict that creation. Now in this business rule, we are going to little modify. The first thing is that instead of insert, we are going to select the insta insert and update. So both the cases during the insert and update, this business rule will run. Now what we are going to do here, we are going to check or divide at that. Okay. So we are not going to create separate, separate business rule. We are combining those with two cases together. So first case is that if this is insert, then they cannot directly create P1 incident, right? how we are going to check that this is a insert or the operation is insert, right? So first question will come that how we can validate that this operation is insert. To check that operation is insert, I'm going to declare a variable VR equal to OP or operation. So current, then operation. And this is a function. So using this current dot operation, you can get the current um, uh, operation. Like is it insert or is it update? So first, if op equal to equal to insert, right? So if it is insert, we are going to do this condition. Okay. So I'll do a format else or maybe else if whatever we can say that op equal to equal to update then we are going to do separate functionality so in the same business rule we are going to update that the first thing we say that if it is insert we are validating that the current dot priority equal to one 
then we'll simply throw an error else if it is update what we are going to check that if first we'll check that the priority is one or not right so current priority is one or not if current current priority is one and the previous priority we should know that what is the previous priority so to know the previous priority we'll say that we will use this previous parameter and say that previous priority is three or previous priority is four we will stop allowing them okay and then simply in this bracket we will uh, put the same uh, thing maybe we can update the message okay i'll do and format that let's understand the code one more time so we have a two parameter when you create a business rule current and previous so first we'll say that current dot operation using that operation we we'll get this operation now we'll check that what is the operation is this operation is insert yes if it is operation is insert we'll simply allow them if that priority is p1 so during the creation you cannot directly set p1 else if you are trying to update that and your current priority is 1 and the previous priority was 3 or 4 we will simply uh, restrict them that you cannot uh, create p1 from and then i will say that previous priority like it will show that from p3 or p4 okay so let's uh, do that so what we are saying that if your previous priority is p3 or p4 and current priority is p1 we will not allow them else will allow them so for allowing we don't need to write anything so we are just leaving as it is all right so this is our uh, case first so let's check that so in this case if we refresh that in this case i have a priority uh, this incident is at that moment uh, first we'll downgrade that so there should not be any issues during the downgradation from p1 we can downgrade to p4 right so we'll select low and low and then it's become p3 right so we'll save that so this is our p3 incident or p5 incident so we'll include p5 also let's put that p5 also p3 p4 or p5 so we cannot update from 3 4 5 to directly p1 so we'll say that p5 also okay so let's refresh one more time so this is our p5 incident and if we try to upgrade uh, p5 to p1 right so let's say that i'm trying to upgrade that p5 to p1 it should give me an error let's save that so i'll put and try to save that and you can see i'm getting an error that you cannot create or uh, maybe we can put that uh, operation name so we, you cannot create p1 incident from p5 so you cannot update or upgrade yourself from p1 or p5 to p1 right similarly uh, if we want to if i refresh that you can see the planning value is right now 5 right so if we update uh, to let's say we are going to set the value is priority is p4 directly from p4 we cannot upgrade to p1 again so right now we can update from p5 to p4 but if we try to upgrade p4 to p1 we should get an error so let's see that we are getting error or not and here we are getting that error right so you cannot update p1 incident from the p4 right so if i refresh that the it did not actually save that so you can see so what we'll do we'll first set that p2 and let's see that it is allowing for p2 so let's save that so right now this priority is p2 and from p2 we should be allowed to set as a p1 right so that's our criteria so if we set and save that and you can see there is no error and it is allowing them to set as a p1 so that's it for today if you have any question let me know my comment section thank you very much have a great day